Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's question is what is the name of the cells indicated by the arrows and what is their function? And here is a variant to choose from. And our variants akinet nitrogen fixation, heterocyst, resting spore, akinet resting spore and heterocyst nitrogen fixation. What we see here is a blue-green alga. This is not a plant, this is not a seaweed, but this is a colony of cyanobacteria. So this bacteria can photosynthesize. In such colonies, sometimes they can be hundreds of cells, sometimes thousands of cells. Some of the cells may change their function. The larger one we call akinet and the smaller one we call heterocyst. An akinet is enveloped thick walled non motel dormant cell formed by filamentous heterocyst forming cyanobacteria. Akinids are resistant to cold and desiccation. They also accumulate and store various essential materials, which allows akinids to serve as survival structure for many years. So if environment would be not favorable, all the cells would die and only akinids would survive because they have thick walls that protect them. However, akinids are not resistant to heat. Akinids usually develop in strings with each cell differentiating after another and this occurs next to heterocyst if they are present. Akinids formation usually triggered by unfavorable conditions such as for example temperature or absence of the nutrients or insufficient light. Take a look here for example this echinid looks just like cell next to it, but has much more nutrients inside and much more thick wall, which protect it. As for the heterocyst or heterocytes, which are here, this is specialized nitrogen fixing cells formed during nitrogen starvation by some filamentous cyanobacteria. And both types of the cells can be present in the same string of cells. So basically you see here three types of the cells. Normal cells, heterocytes and echinids. Heterocytes has distinctive features like what you see here which is um, plaques composed of cyanophycin which slows down cell-to-cell -cell diffusion. So for example if you take a look here you would be able to tell if it is echinid or heterocyte because as you see they don't have these plugs which heterocyte has. This is large cells. We can say that this is going to be echinid and this is also another example of echinid. This is almost the same cell like this one but much larger. So this is also echinid. Echinid here, echinid here, here and here and I also want to show you one more picture. So now you would be able to tell that this is echinid here and heterocyst here. Heterocyst not necessarily have to happen somewhere in the middle of the colony of the cells, but they also may happen at the very tip of the colony or blue green alga. The cells which adjacent to heterocyst would get more nitrogen and the cells which would be far away would get less nitrogen and they would be smaller. So they would get less nutrients. And nitrogen as you know very essential element for amino acids which are building blocks of proteins. Now let's read the question again. What is the name of the cells indicated by the arrows and what is their function? Now we know that this is heterocyst and they need it for nitrogen fixation. This is answer D. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.